I want to talk to you about civil authority and scripture. It's been my experience that when the actions or decrees of the civil authorities are questioned, it's common for Christians to recite the scripture in Romans 13, 1 and 2, which admonishes us to obey the authorities. This is well and good, but we need to exercise some critical thinking in this regard. If obeying the authorities is God's will, then it would be imperative to understand that in this nation, under the rule of law, the supreme authority under which our civil authorities must operate is the U.S. Constitution. These are the bylaws which define and restrain the powers delegated to our government officials. That being said, it naturally follows that government conduct or orders which are not pursuant to the intent of the Declaration and U.S. Constitution are illegitimate. You're right, Christian. The authorities must be obeyed, especially by our government servants. But we're at a point where our civil authorities don't really think they're required to obey the supreme authority. There are 17 powers of Congress defined in the Constitution, a handful for the President, and the powers of the Supreme Court may be almost entirely extinguished by Congress. But the current reach of federal power into the affairs of the Union is now near saturation, mostly illegitimate, and we are in dire need of a couple hundred real Americans who are willing to postpone their businesses and recreation for a few years in order to restore our federal government to its intended limited role in the life of the Union. Then our newly unemployed congressmen would have time to use their CFL light bulbs to find their heads and see clearly what actual authority we the people gave them. Thank you.